Hello everyone, my name is Argama Witch, and today we're going to be showing you how to do uh, transparent clothing or semi-transparent clothing in Unity. Now, if you don't know how to import your character into Unity, please check out my uh, blend shape video. I will put a thing up in the top corner somewhere, <laughs> uh, linking to it. So what you're going to want to do is import your character into Unity. You're going to want to come over into the assets section and you're going to see that we have these materials here, which is what we're going to be working with mostly and textures. And this right here is our texture or material for our jacket. Now you can come up to mode and do transparent, but it doesn't look quite right. So right now we're going to leave it back at cutout and then we're going to go over to the texture area. Uh, you're going to pick any texture, it doesn't really matter, right click and open and explore. Find the texture you want to edit and bring it into an art program of your choice. I'm using Clip Studio Paint. Uh, and here we have it and you can see that it's solid blacks. Now one of the things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lower the opacity and then you just save it. It'll take maybe a second or two and if this window pops up make sure you just override the current name. Give it a second or two and then go back into Unity. Uh, we're going to go back over into Materials. And in the mode, we're going to want to do uh, Cutout or Z Transparency. And now you can see that we can see our body through it. Or you can see my body through it. Uh, and then if you want, you can come back over here and you can mess with just semi-transparent th things or only partly transparent. So let's say I only want to make the bottom part of this transparent. So that's what I'm going to do. Lower the opacity of the bottom half, flatten it and save it. Wants to sit, remember it's the same file and as a PNG. I'm going to come back over here and you're going to see that it jumped to its change. The top part is now solid while the bottom part is semi-transparent. So we could still see through it. This also works with things such as hair. Uh, if you go over to the texture, you can open up a, a hair texture. Usually people do this with the fringe if you want to be able to see the face below it. Uh, again, show on explore, find the hair file you want and bring it over into your art program. For this particular one, I just want the bottom slightly transparent. So I take the eraser and I just do a few gentle strokes in order to make it semi-transparent at the bottom. Again, I save it and we go back over into Unity, adjust the mode like we did before on the material. And there you can see it is now semi-transparent. You can see the face through the hair at the tips. Now what I recommend is if you do wanna do this is to make sure you have a separate texture for the bang or the fringe or else you'll end up getting the whole uh, back of the head semi-transparent as well. Although that would be a neat effect if that is what you're going for. Now, these techniques can be used for any of the textures that you have on your model. Uh, you can just change the texture, you can change the opacity, and you'll have a new effect. And this will open up so many new opportunities for you when it comes to creating outfits or just giving your character some possess. Uh, I hope this video helped you even a little bit. Uh, it, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments below. And I ask that you give this video a like and a share and that helps me out. So I will catch you guys later and hopefully we'll learn more of your stuff together. So bye bye.